Hello, welcome back to my vlog. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. I was only thinking this week how I haven't vlogged again in ages, and I actually was just so buzzing to get back on and chatting and kind of showing you what I'm up to and. Yeah, summer's definitely started like away. Last week I was away um, in Connemara and in the Iron Islands and I know you're like, why didn't you bring us? But I will definitely try for a couple of staycations this summer bringing you along and just show you everything. But I'm documenting everything over on my Instagram anyway, um, which I will put here in case you don't follow me there. I am, um, it's Friday, by the way. I am very sore. My whole body is killing me from being back in the gym. Like it's not used to lifting weights anymore so my whole body's like aching in a way I haven't felt in like a year but it's so good like I feel like I've really done something to that kind of like good pain so I went to the gym here this morning our apartment gyms are finally open so it was nice to get in there and um, it's actually just so nice to like have time to do my own thing in the gym it's been so long since I've had that just listening to music switching off from the world and like feeling good after it I did some uh content this morning and then I went for lunch with my boyfriend and it was lovely uh, so nice we can eat outside now as well life has changed a lot since i was last vlogging but right now i have to go to the post office um i was just doing some work there on my laptop i go to the post office and then i gotta go pick up a package uh from the concierge here that's where my packages get dropped off and there was like a dog social event today so the the kind of manager here brought in his dog and she's so cute and if you've been following me on social media you might have noticed Coop's not here anymore. Most of you probably know by now I share Cooper with my old roommate so he is with her for a while and I miss him so much but uh, I get the updates and he's in good hands so yeah I have no plans really this evening just gonna get some food and chill have a very quiet night and then tomorrow I am going out for dinner with my friends and going out for a few drinks as well and I'm so excited because we actually haven't done that in like so long. And I'm excited to get dressed up, so I actually have to put town on too. But now I gotta go to the post office. Okay. Oh god. God, I'm over wearing masks, especially in the summer. I got my package, and I already know. Put you here. Can I clean you here? Okay, I got my package. I already know what's a book. So I've been doing a book club for since October now. And I think since the summer, since it's been the summer and things are opening up again, we're just doing it like once a month. I definitely found myself getting a bit lazy because we haven't been having like the weekly check-ins, but it's great. I get sent books now. Um, oh, cool. This is by Judith Cuff, uh, Unexpected Events. She's an Irish author. She actually wrote to me. So I have no shortage of, I actually need to get a bookshelf. Let me just show you all the books I have. And this isn't even all of them, like I've usually passed them on. But um, we're trying to decide what we'll do next. So if anyone has any good book recommendations, I actually kind of need to decide today though. But I think we might do this one. Or else someone else wrote in about Malibu Rising, which I also have here. Um, I'm reading Midnight Library at the moment. And it's really good, but I'm, I literally have the whole book to read. I'm only 40 pages in, but it's, it's good. Like it's about, um, so this girl is really, this is actually quite grim at the start, so it's like if you are not in a good mood or not in a good place, probably not the best book to read. The girl is quite depressed and she attempts to uh, commit suicide and um, then she ends up in this library where she has all her regrets of her life and she can like undo the regrets. So it's interesting. I haven't even got into the regrets yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit down now there in a while and read it. Um, went over to see the dog and the dog was gone home. So sad. I've actually noticed like I definitely miss like having a dog around and like how I act with dogs has changed so much over the last couple of years. I think when you have one and you love it so much, like Winnie at home and Cooper, like I just talk to them. Like, so if I see dogs out, sometimes I'll just like, even if their owners aren't looking, I'll just like, wave at them and their tail wags. It's just, it's not so funny. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has. I just feel like I have like 
different language with dogs. Um, anyway. I have something I wanted to say. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have to clean the house today, which I'm kind of dreading because I hate cleaning. I just hate it and don't enjoy it, but it has to be done. So I'm gonna just do maybe half an hour just like wiping things, make the place clean and it'll, I'll feel so much better then for the weekend. But yeah, okay, I will check in with you after I've done this. You hear how annoying our doorbell is. <laughs> Hello? Hello? The, yeah, it is, yeah. The door is open there. Thanks so much. I know what this is. It's a press drop from Carton House. Flowers. Look at this from Carton House to celebrate their reopening. How gorgeous are these flowers? Roses. The roses are gorgeous at the moment because of the weather. Okay, let's open this. So they sent a bottle of champagne, they sent these flowers, they sent this tag which has my name on it, a lovely mug, coffee, lemonade, this candle which actually just smells just like the fanciest oil ever and then bath and shower oil and chocolates. Thank you so much and I hope the reopening goes really well if anyone's watching. I can't wait to get down there sometime. I stayed there once for my friend's wedding. It's gorgeous. Okay, I've just put on tan. It's the water foam mousse. Water foam mousse from uh, Bondi Sands, it's new. Oh, there's a really cute dog walking past the window, a basset hound. But I put it on and it's actually so nice. This is my third time applying it this week just because I want to be nice and dark for tomorrow. And I said I would change into clothes that I can get dirty while I'm cleaning the house. So I'm gonna continue polishing, called polishing my room, and then I'm gonna work on my bathroom, which is always the hardest one. I just cannot keep it clean. Makeup get, just gets everywhere, dust just gathers. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it and actually just do it. At the face of someone who's just done an hour of cleaning, I brought down like three bins. I got cleared all here, which was like full with press samples and just like work stuff. And cleaned the bathroom, cleaned the kitchen. Look at this, <laughs> did the dishwasher. So I'm just gonna finish up here, just tidy a few things away and then I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of work and then it's the weekend! I had to get a new phone because um, this selfie camera just keeps breaking. But the satisfaction of opening a new iPhone. You know they've actually timed it for the satisfaction levels so that like you get that slow opening. That's actually all in the packaging and the marketing. Hello, how gorgeous. I got the 12. Pro Max, it's the same size as, or is it a little bit bigger? This is a cover on it, it's hard to tell. I have the 11 Pro Max before that. I have that like a year and a half, but to be honest with the amount I use my phone, I'm not surprised that it started to give up. And I brought it in to a phone shop and they said I'd have to replace the camera. Um, and I don't even know if that would fix it because it started working since again, and then it just stops working. So anyway, there we go. Guys, I'm literally, I must be here, it's quarter to seven now, so I must be sitting here like hours editing this video. I got a bit of work done and then I got distracted like editing a video of like all these like memories I have on my phone. And I'm not even like gonna share it on social media. I just love, I love doing this. Uh, that's why I feel so lucky sometimes that it's my job. But the personal ones are even better. But I, I, I don't really share too much of that online anymore. I don't know. Nice to keep some stuff for yourself, you know? But that doesn't mean you can't like document and like remember things. Take loads of pictures and loads of videos. <laughs> okay, I have relocated to the couch. I'm gonna read some of my book now and I'm actually drinking a non-alcoholic beer. Uh, Heineken Zero, I actually really like them. I think they taste like beer and I'm, cause I'm here alone, I'm like, I don't know. We also, we also don't have beer, so I'm like, this will do. Um, but yeah, then I'm gonna have dinner later when my boyfriend comes over. So I don't know what we'll get. Maybe like Chinese or 
I don't know what I'm in the mood for. Something yum. Hmm. Guys, that was so comfy. My knee's making me leave. We're gonna go get a takeaway pint and, oh, they're very bright. And maybe grab food and bring it back. <laughs> I just have to get dressed. That was so comfy. I had to blow out the candles. But it would be nice to get out of the house. So, yeah, I'm just still wearing the same outfit as earlier. This is my Zara, like, jersey and shorts. This will also wake me up a bit. I was getting very tired and it's like, Good morning, it is about nine o'clock. I'm up, I'm gonna walk and get some breakfast and come back and make it. And then I have to, I'm on flower watering duty for Megan. We have all these flowers in our balcony but she is at home. She went home for a wedding with 25 people. Um, so I'm gonna keep on top of this. And then I'm gonna chill, I think, for the morning. I'm gonna read my book and just relax. I'm wearing this Sandra top I got in Brown Thomas. And these shorts are Bershka from ASOS and then my shoes are Tory Birch. And they're actually so comfy, they're like espadrilles. And my sunglasses, which I thought I lost, but I didn't, they're Celine. My knives arrived from Brown Thomas. I got them on sale. I'll link them. We have literally had the shittest knives. Sorry, don't judge the state of our drawer. I actually can't show you this. Okay, they're in the dishwasher, but they've been so bad. Actually, let me show you. Like, they just don't cut anything. Um, I got bread this morning, and literally we could not cut the bread. But uh, I kept it, thankfully. <laughs> Look at the state of the edge of that. Can you see? So I kept it. And then my knives arrived, so I can have some tomorrow. Yay! I also got these trousers from Reese, which look kind of a slightly different color than I saw on the website, but I love the material. I'm gonna try them on and see what they're like. Oh, I like these. What do we think? I like them. Really? I just love the material. Maybe I'll wear these tonight. It is quarter to three and I have been out here for like maybe two hours now reading. I am about halfway through. It's actually such a good book, would definitely recommend. Having another iced coffee and it's just so warm out. This is bliss. My friend Kira is gonna come over in like an hour and we're gonna get ready to go out. And we're, we have dinner at seven, so this is a lovely Saturday. <laughs> I have now flipped over onto my back. Still reading the book. I think I've read like over 100 pages now. I am on my <laughs> fourth ice, ice coffee of the day. I'm just loving it. I'm gonna go in and have lunch soon. Um, my friend Charlotte's gonna call me for catch up. If you're watching my vlogs, you know, for a while, you know Charlotte. Um, she's back over in New York now working in a new job. So I'm gonna have a little catch up with her. Just love today, just so chilled. Hello, look who's here. We're having a glass of rosé in the sun. Champagne. Why not? Gotta celebrate. These days in Ireland are rare. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Ed. It will. So we're here at dinner. Here. Basically, it's our first time out for dinner since we think. When was the last time? Christmas. 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 Uh, no, Christmas. No, September. Last, like, last, September, yeah. last September. So oh, we've had a fab night. It's late. It's like, what time? I don't even know what time it is. Like 11. We've already had our last call, so. We've had a fab night. We had, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday. I'm supposed to be in Limerick already, but I'm not. I'm here. A bit of a late start today. Um, I'm going for a swim now because it's so nice out. And I think get some food and then I'm gonna hit the road for Limerick and it's my mom's birthday tomorrow so I'm gonna to stay down tomorrow um but yeah just dying to get outside it's so nice and warm out but it's happening 
Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Good choice. Yeah. Okay, I finally made it to Sandy Cove. It took us like forever to get a spot, but we are heading for a swim now. It's such a nice day. Like the skies. Longer than I was in the water. <laughs> okay. Hello, so I was supposed to go home to Limerick, but I'm gonna go in the morning instead. It's such a nice night up here and a long drive, so we're in Dunleary now. Oh, 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 I see something I need. We get ice cream. Uh oh. <laughs> home again ready to chill I'm gonna watch a movie we're gonna watch Jerry Maguire perfect Sunday evening so nice and relaxing I'm wearing my favorite jumper my granny knit me so cozy morning I am doing a home workout this morning before I hit the road for Limerick I'm doing Caroline Gervin's ones I find hers really good Okay, I'm ready. My hair is wet. We do not have time to dry it. I'm wearing cycle, or bicycle shorts, like a little crop top, a blazer from Zara, and my bag. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to let my hair dry on the way home. I need to grab a coffee though, I'm so tired. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get home to see my mom on her birthday. Look at me. <laughs> I have to go um, up to the pharmacy so I can pick stuff up now. But I, um, I actually got a new car. I didn't um, post about it really but it's electric, so I currently have 61% battery. I'm interested to see if that'll get me home. My dad had a electric charger installed in our house at home, so at least that's one thing I don't have to worry about, but it's all just getting used to it. It is really fun though, it's like a, a new toy, <laughs> a new, a totally different experience to any other car I've had before. But anyway, I really have to go, so I'll check in with you when I'm at home. Okay, so I made it about 35 minutes from home. Car is at 10%, I probably could have risked it. I was trying to work out the maths, like, there was 25% left and 100 kilometers to go. My car has a range of 400 kilometers, so probably just would have made it, but seeing as it's my first trip home, I didn't want to chance it, so charging here, and yeah, I'll just charge it like it's a fast charger, so I'm gonna go into the toilet and get a coffee, and then I'll probably just unplug it. Ooh, that should get me home. Hello, Winnie. Hello, hello. Oh, poor Winnie has a sore ear. Oh, Winnie, come back. Happy birthday, Mum. Thank you. <laughs> Such a nice day, isn't it? We're having lunch. Happy birthday, Mum. Such a nice day. Look at this. I love all the tables outside. It looks like somewhere in Europe. Did you say, Nicole? It is somewhere in Europe. <laughs> and there's how many minutes in the day today? Oh, minutes. I think 1,440. Oh, God. I thought because it's the longest day of the year that there was more time in the day, but no, there isn't. <laughs> Hello, we are home again. Went to the Crescent Shopping Centre and I went to Zara and bought some more summer clothes I probably don't need, but Zara's so good at the moment. Um, I'll actually show you in a while what I got. Now I'm gonna read some of my book and sit outside because it's still such a nice day. We have dinner tonight for my mom for her birthday and then I'm back up the road tomorrow um, morning, first thing. Roku's come up to join me. Hello, Leslie. This is your favorite chair, Winnie. Oh. <laughs> I'm to read my book now, okay? It's your pants. You like it? That is just... Lovely. What is that now, Nicole? What? <laughs> My life. 
She sees a camera, she's like, it's for me. How much are they? How much? Okay, this is two of the things I bought in Zara. I got this shirt and I got these shorts. They're both size medium, so comfy. And I'll show you, I have another few bits upstairs that I got. I got this kind of smock top maxi dress, which I just love. And I got this short kind of brodery crochet dress, mini dress. And then this top, which I might wear tonight for dinner with these trousers. They're actually from Reese, sorry, these are Reese. These are from the Brent Thomas sale. The rest is from Zara. So much nice stuff in Zara at the moment. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog here because my battery is flashing, it's gonna die. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed vlogging. I am promise I'm gonna get back into it more over the summer now that we can get out and do things. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you want links for anything, comment as well. See you in the next video. Bye guys.